Hi, this is Chris Toy, and I'd like to welcome you to 2010-2, where in 20 minutes, for under $10, you can make dinner for two. So today what we're going to do is we're going to use our fresh garlic that we bought from Bessie's. Before we get started, I'd like to just kind of talk to you about the ingredients. So why don't we go over here, and what we're going to do today is we're going to make a chicken and noodle stir fry. The noodles that we have are Chinese style egg noodles. You could use these, you can get those from uh, most grocery stores or an Asian store. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also use ramen. And what you would do is you would open this up and you would just use the ramen. You don't need to use the flavoring packet that's with it. You could, but you don't need to. You could also just use linguine or fettuccine or spaghetti as well if you wanted to. Here we have fresh ginger root, which is wonderful. There's no reason to use dried ginger anymore. You can get this right in the grocery store. And here's our wonderful garlic. These are huge garlic cloves. Each, um, each bud, I guess this is called a bud, each bud of these is actually consists of maybe four or five of these very large cloves. And we have baby portobello mushrooms, which are very tasty. We have some green onions or scallions. And I'll be teaching you a, something called a roll cut with some carrots that we'll add. And we, here we have some bok choy, which is a Chinese cabbage. Uh, this white stalk um, is very crunchy, and uh, this green part is kind of like spinach or Swiss chard. It's, it's very good. It grows well in Maine, interestingly. It's a cool weather crop. And we're going to use chicken thighs, boneless thighs. I find that thigh meat, is, uh, it stays very, very moist, and um, I find it has a little stronger flavor. So why don't we start over here. And I'm going to start the noodles cooking. So this is dinner for two. So I'm going to use two noodles. I think um, if you were using the ramen, you could use two packages of ramen. And this is just going to boil in here. These will be done probably in about five minutes or so. They're just barely covered with the uh, with, with some boiling water. And we'll just let those do their thing for a while. So the next thing, when you stir fry, you definitely want to use a wok. What's nice about a wok is that it has a round interior. And uh, because of that, there's no bottom. For, um, for the oil and things to spread out, so t things tend not to stick or burn in a wok. This is a cast iron wok. I would recommend a cast iron wok. You can buy those, actually you can buy them online, but you can also buy them at local uh, kitchen supply stores often. Joyce Chen makes one, and so does Lodge. Um, they both make uh, very good cast iron woks. So when you're stir frying, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you have all of your ingredients prepared and together before you start cooking. So while we're going to heat, we're going to heat our wok up and we've started our noodles, why don't we start here with our fresh ginger root. And what's nice about the ginger root is you can slice it off like that. So it's kind of like the cross section of a piece of wood. So the grain is actually going this way. And what you can do then is you can take the side of the cleaver and you can just hit it like that. And what it will do is it will basically explode the ginger root. And then you can, using the side of the cleaver, you can just use that to chop it up. So this really releases a lot of the flavor of the spice. You'll also notice that the cleaver is versatile. Not only can it smash the ginger, you can use it as a scoop. And because there's this broad side of the blade for controlling the cutting edge, 
it's actually a very, very safe cutting implement. You couldn't do this with a thin knife. So we've got about a teaspoon of fresh ginger root. By the way, the ginger, once you um, have, have it home, you can put it in a plastic bag and you can freeze it. And then you can grate it to use it later. You can also uh, preserve your ginger by um, putting it in the, in, the, um, in the bag and you can cover it with oil and that will keep, the, um, keep it from, from drying out. Some other people I know what they'll do is they'll actually submerge the ginger in both oil or, um, or vinegar and that gives the oil a nice flavor and it also preserves the ginger. Our next thing that we'll do is we will prepare our fresh garlic that we got from Bessie's and we'll take just the side of the cleaver and we're going to just give it a, a light tap and what that will do is it will basically make the paper separate from the garlic itself and then we'll take it and we'll smash it again just like we did with the ginger we'll slice that up again using the side of the blade as a guide for that cutting edge against my knuckle and we've got two, this is huge, this, we've only need, we only need two cloves of this fresh garlic and it looks like we've got easily a, a tablespoon or so. And our baby portabellas. What I like to do with, with mushrooms, I'll cut them into four pieces. I'll cut one side of it and then I'll cut the stem in half, just like this. So one side of it, cut the stem in half, spin it, just like that. So it gives a nice meaty mushroom, not too skinny. There we go. And our scallions, we're going to cut those at an angle, probably about, you know, a quarter inch or so. And use that as a scoop. Put that right there. Remember what we're doing is we're getting all of the ingredients together before we start stir frying. So here's carrot. Uh, these are uh, baby carrots, but you can do this with any carrot or actually any long vegetable. And it's called a roll cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut at an angle. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. Just like that. And what you'll find is that because I've cut it by rolling it, a lot of the interior of the vegetable is exposed and so it's going to cook very quickly and very evenly. I won't have to overcook these carrots in order to get them soft. And the next thing will be the bok choy. Now what you're going to, this can grow in Maine. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's not dirt and things like that when you peel those off. Kind of like leeks, you know, they'll collect uh, sand and dirt at the bottom because they grow close to the ground. Um, this has already been washed and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply cut this probably in half inch pieces at an angle and when I get to the leaf what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle of my cut just alternating it so that it's not long and skinny so it's pieces of leaf so again we'll scoop that up And then, here's our chicken, chicken thigh. And I'm going to cut this across the grain. Just like that. Bite size, quarter inch pieces. Put that right in there. So we've got our ingredients ready, and what we're going to do, let's take a look at our, our noodles. And they're just about ready. I can turn the heat down on them. I'll just put them on, on warm. 
So they're al dente. You don't want them to be too mushy. Now, when you stir fry with a wok, what you want is you want uh, to remember that you want hot wok, cold oil. So I'm going to preheat my wok, and I have my oil here. I'm going to use I'm using uh, olive oil, but you can use um, vegetable oil, corn oil, peanut oil, canola oil. The only oil that you really can't use for um, stir frying would be something like sesame oil or um, a butter. They just they just burn burn too quickly. So this is heating up. And what I want to do is I want to line up my ingredients in the order that they're going to be cooking. So the first thing I'm going to be putting in is going to be my uh, ginger and my garlic. And I'll brown those very quickly. Then my meat. Uh, I want that to cook uh, very uh, for, for the longest period of time. Then I'm going to put in the carrots because I want to soften those up. Then my mushrooms. Then my bok choy. And I tend to like my scallions to uh, stay crispy, so I'm going to put those in last. But you can change the order of the ingredients around for, for your tastes. I, I would certainly uh, put the meat in there first, though, however. So, this is definitely heated up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in maybe a tablespoon of oil. It doesn't take much. You're going to see that's very hot. It's already smoking. And I'm going to put in... It's browned up. So the ginger and the garlic are in there. And now, I'm going to put in the chicken. And I'm spreading it in a thin layer on the bottom of the wok. And that loud sound that you're hearing is stir frying, and you want to try to maintain that as much as you can. Then I'm going to scoop that, and this is the stirring part. And that's now releasing all of the flavors. Now the chicken's not done cooking yet, but I'm going to add my carrots so that they can start cooking. There we go. The chicken still has to cook some more, but it's going to get that opportunity to. And you'll notice that the timing is very, very fast. We're talking, you know, maybe a half a minute. And I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. Not too much, but you can see that's going to create some liquid in there. That'll help soften up the carrots a bit. Now if you stop and think about it, this wok is cooking at the highest setting on the stove. And nothing is sticking or burning to it. And you'll notice that the little liquid that there is, it's gone to the bottom, which is the hottest part of the wok. And everything above that is cooler. So we'll just put that back in there, and that'll keep cooking for a minute or so. And so now we'll put in our mushrooms, our baby portobellos. Still on high heat. And we'll put in our bok choy. That is stir. That's a nice color. And I just want to stir this until the um, 
it's all kind of touched by the heat and the flavoring. So you'll see that the bok choy is starting to take on a little bit of the tint of the soy sauce that I had put in. The carrots are they're still crispy, but they're a little bit tender. Still on high heat. And the vegetables are adding their moisture to the cooking process. So about another 30 seconds on that. And then our scallions. And these, I just want them to just kind of just release the flavor of the scallions into the dish. You'll see there's a little bit of liquid in there, not a lot, but that's basically from the soy sauce and from the vegetables. That chicken is completely cooked now, so those of you who are wondering, but that took maybe what, maybe five, five minutes or so, five, six minutes. There we go, and I can just shut that right off now. And let's take a look at our, our noodles. So our noodles are all cooked up. And what I'll do is I'll just drain these noodles. Take some of those noodles. Oh, those look great. Put those right in. We'll scoop right down here. Oops. And have it. We have chicken and noodle stir fry. We'll see you next time.